Week 9, problem 5. A 140 millihenry inductor and a 5 ohm resistor are connected with a switch to a 6 volt battery as shown in the figure below. After the switch is thrown to A, connecting battery, what time interval elapses before the current reaches 220 milliamp? Alright, so I'm going to assume it was at B for a long time and then they throw it. So what happens here then is before there's going to be nothing because the battery is just out of the circuit when it's at when the switch is at B. But then we throw the switch to A and we now put the battery in this loop and it's going to uh, interact. So what's going to happen is there's going to be initially the inductor, like the water wheel, is going to oppose the flow of current. Then the water wheel starts spinning, the uh, inductor starts building up a counter EMF. Mm, I'm not entirely sure. Eventually the current starts flowing through the inductor and eventually it's going to build up to its maximum current. So we look at this in a picture form. Yeah, I'll draw the picture down here. Click. So we're going to have, ah, I grow wary of you green. Back to blue. Good old blue. So we're going to have current, we're going to have time, and it's going to build up to its maximum current. At which point the inductor will offer no resistance to flow. I'm going to call this I naught. Oop, I not right there. That's where it's. That's where it's at. All right. So what they're saying then is they want us to find um, when we're at 220 milliamps. So I don't know what that is as a proportion of its total current. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find an equation that describes this um, this graph. So. I don't really know what it is, but I know it's going to be like one of a couple. So we're going to have current equals initial current, and it's going to build up. So I think it's going to be 1 minus E to negative T over tau. Nope. Nope, don't like you. You can go away. Draw a little bit better T. There we go. T for time. All right. So after a long time, we have e to the negative t is, let's say, a billion, a lot. Then this eventually will be 1 over, so that will be similar to 1 over, mm -hmm, 1 over e to the infinity, which will basically be 1 over infinity, which will basically be, wow, you're going crazy, mister. Basically be 0. So eventually this goes away, and we get 1 times maximum current which the maximum current is then just going to be the maximum current. And it's trying to build up to its maximum current, so this makes sense. So this is going to be the, the correct equation. The other equation that we use is the e to the negative t over tau. Now this is the one where um, uh, this is an exponential decay. The other one is exponential growth. Eh. Whatever the word is. One's a capacitor or inductor or whatnot building up. The other one is it um, building down or decaying away. All right, so we know, we don't know what the maximum current is, but we can find it. So the maximum current is going to be when the inductor is offering no resistance. So if we pretended the inductor wasn't there, then we would have current equals um, the voltage over the resistance. Okay, we can do that. So we're going to have 6 divided by 5, which will give us like, I don't know, 1.2? Is that 1.2? 1.2. Bam. Yes. All right. Equals 1.2 amps. Got it. Okay. Okay. So we're so if this is 1.2 amps, then we're looking at like way down here for the uh, 0.220 amps, right? Because the milliamp is just 0 0.220 or 0 0.22 amps. Okay. So we want to know what this time is. We also need to find tau. 
So tau equals L over R, which is, we got this, 140 times 10 to the negative third. So I'm going to call that 0 0.140 divided by, was it 5 amps? 5, five ohms? I think that's 5 ohms. 5 ohms. 1.4 divided by 5. 0.14 divided by 5. 0 0.028. Okay. Equals 0 0.028. And that's measured in seconds. Because that, we know it has to be in seconds because that way it cancels out the seconds we put up with a T on top over here. So if it didn't cancel out, then it wouldn't work. Okay? So now I'm going to simplify this. So I'm going to do I over I naught. That gives that guy over there. Then I'm going to, let's see here. Hmm. Minus 1? I'll do the minus 1 equals negative e to the negative t over tau, which equals, I'm going to do that. 1 minus i over i naught. Does that kind of work? Yeah, okay. Switch those. Yep, okay. Now I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. So negative t over tau equals natural log of 1 minus i over i naught. Put a negative over there. And then one last bit, t equals tau negative natural log 1 minus i over i naught. Okay, so now I'm going to put some numbers into this guy. So I'm going to, first I'm going to find i over i naught. So I know i the final current is going to be 0.22. It's what we want. So that's what the current is going to be i. But we know i naught is 1.2. Right. So it's going to be like what? 1 sixth? 0.183. So I'm going to do 1 minus this. Okay. So 0.82. I'm going to call it 0.82 equals negative tau natural log of 0.82. Right. So we know that when we're taking a natural log of a number that's smaller than 1, we're going to get a negative number which is going to make the other negative cancel, which is good, which means we won't get a negative time, which is reasonable. Natural log of, and I might as well multiply by tau right now. We know that tau is 0 0.028. 0 0.028 times. Bam. Put all, I could just done that at the beginning. And I'm going to get a negative number, which I'm going to then make a positive number. So you probably want it in what, milliseconds? Milliseconds, so I'll multiply by a thousand. Multiply by one thousand. Bam, I got it. 5.67. And I just left a negative out, so I was going to put it back in now, which makes a double negative. And done. 5.67 milliseconds. So not long. Not long is the um, big answer. What is the current in the inductor 10 seconds after the switch is closed? I'm not even going to bother answering this one. I'm just going to be like, it's at the top. It's maximized. Because 10 seconds is a long time in inductor's lifespan. So I'm going to say 1.2 amps. Okay, I'll actually figure this out. Maybe. Hmm. All right, so then we're going to have, so looking up here, so we have current equals this times that. So I'm going to do 1.2 times, which is the, um, the maximum current, I naught times 1 minus e to the quantity uh, t, which is 10 seconds, divided by, what do we say, 0 0.028, 0 0.028, close parentheses, close parentheses. So what happens is this basically goes to 0. Whoa! I did not mean to get, oh, negative. Did I put a negative in there? This supposed to be, yeah, negative. Bam! So it goes from, <laughs> goes from 1.2 to 1.2 and a bunch of zeros. So.
So for this guy right there, 1.2 amps. Bam. 10 seconds. Psh. Now the switch is quickly thrown from A to B. What time interval elapses before the current in the inductor falls to 160 milliamps? Okay, so now they're going the exact opposite direction. Boom. Man. So, same equation. We even have the same resistor, so I don't even have to recalculate tau, which is convenient, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, start up here. Our I naught, which is the same, because the inductor opposes a change in current. And so this will be time. And right here, right there, I'm going to say that is, what are we at? 160 milliamps. 160 milliamps. And this is 1.2 amps. Okay. I'll just change that to 0.16 amps. There we go. All right, so the equation we're going to use for this guy then is the other equation. I equals I naught e to the negative t over tau. So as this gets as t gets bigger, this goes to zero. So in this case, we're going to have one. Oh, I need to solve it. All right, so I'm going to have to solve this for um, t. So doing some math, I have I over I naught, do a natural log, multiply by negative tau equals t. We'll see if that looks. If I get like 20 minutes, then I'll know I did something wrong. All right, so tau is about point zero, negative 0 0.028. Check. Natural log of 1.16 over 1.2 which will be less than 1, which will give me a negative number, which will then become another negative, so that's good. Make sure it's actually 1 point, yep. Yeah, way easy, way easy. All right, so let's actually do the problem. Negative 0 0.028, and natural log, times natural log. Darn you poor typing skills. 0.16 divided by 1.2 and we have I could have just read the answer why did I ah, too ambitious 0 0.056 I'll multiply by a thousand that'll give me milliseconds could I just could I just read it again 56.4 bam here 56.4 milliseconds excellent hmm Good for me. Good for me. All right. What time interval elapses? Yep. That's why. We, that's why I do it. So, I do my best to try and remember the formulas. Um, but all I really remember is that because I just remember that I remember both of them, but I never really associate which one goes to which graph. So I usually just plug in a number. I'm like, well, if I plug in a thousand for time, does it go to the zero or does it go to whatever the maximum is? So. That's the best, I think that's the best way to do it. Um, because if you try and memorize which formula goes with which graph, you might mess it up. Eh, guess and check. I'm a big believer in guessing and checking. All right, perfect. Done with problem five, on to problem six.